AI revolution is here and the reality is AI is not going to take your job. Now in this video, I'll be asking Chad GPT to teach me to code and the results are going to shock you. There are essentially two ways in which you can learn to code, either learning everything step by step from the very basics or jumping right in with an idea of what you want to build and learning things along the way. We'll be testing both of these methods with Chad GPT and the results are going to shock you. Let's get into this video, hit the like button and let's ask Chad GPT about how to learn some React JS. So first of all, I asked Chad GPT to make a software engineer at a top tech company. Please give me a complete step by step process to get there given that I know nothing about programming. And this is what it responded with. It said that first of all, learn the basics of computer science, algorithms and data structures. Then you need to learn a programming language. You need to build some projects. You can participate in coding competitions. You can get an internship or apprenticeship. And then you need to build a personal brand and network. Again, this is the fourth most important skill that I talked about in my previous videos, if you have been watching those. But moving on, then we say apply to a top tech product based company. So bhai, proper aapko ek roadmap mil gaya hai, ek guide mil gaya hai and you don't need to feel confused. Most people, you know, right now they go on to YouTube, they watch a ton of videos and they are just like, Ki, exactly start kahan se karu? And if that is the state that you are in, Chad GPT is here to help you out because isme kya hota hai? It's not giving you a ton of different things that you can do. It's giving you a step-by-step -step roadmap, right? First of all, you computer science ke basics, sikho, then you learn about programming language, then you build some projects, you participate in some competitions, get some experience, you get an internship, and once you have some experience, you try to build your personal brand, and then network with people and try to apply for top tech companies. Now, I asked another question, if I want to become a full stack developer, then give me a list of all the technologies that I need to learn to become one, right? Or I said, give me a list of all the free courses that I can do to learn it from online, right? So this is what it said. First of all, it told you that HTML and CSS, then you go on and learn about JavaScript, then learn about JavaScript frameworks or libraries, then you go ahead and learn about a back-end language, like you have Ruby, JavaScript, Node.js, you have Python, you have Java, then you learn a database management system. So either you learn about MySQL or MongoDB and then you move on to the next step where you learn about version control and that is how you will get to become a full stack web developer. Now again, moving on, it gave me a list of all the free online courses that I can do. And as you can see, this has a good enough list. But again, I can also ask it something like, give me a list of all the best Udemy courses that I can take to learn web development. Then I asked Chad GPT that I want to learn about data structures and algorithms. So give me a complete step-by-step -step process to do that. And it gave me a wonderful answer. This is what it gave me. First of all, you start out with learning about sorting algorithms. You learn about searching algorithms. You learn about time and space complexity. You learn about data structures. You learn about tree data structures, graph data structures, dynamic programming. And then you move on to greedy algorithm, divide and conquer, backtracking, you learn about recursion, you learn about complexity classes, bit manipulation, memory management. And once you have done all of that, and of course, learn about big O notation as well, then you can move ahead, right? I also asked it to act as a recruiter. Now, this is a very good use case of chat GPT. Ka. If you want to become a software engineer, you can ask it to act like a recruiter from a top tech company looking to hire a software engineer. Give me a list of questions that you would want to ask me. Isse kya hoga? You will be able to prepare better for all of the interviews that will be happening in the future. So this is what it told me. Can you tell me a particularly challenging project that you've worked on in the past? And how did you approach and solve the problem? Again, bahut bade wali questions poochte hain as I have heard from my seniors in college and my friends as well. Where they can also ask you how would you approach solving a problem with a specific data structure or algorithm, right? So ye sare questions hain that they can ask you and this is a great way for you to prepare for your interviews as well, right? Then I asked him, give me a list of lesser known ways to find an internship for the role of a software engineer. And this is what I got, right? Here are a few lesser known ways network with alumni, attend meetups and events, join online communities, apply to startup companies, check with non-for-profit organizations, and then check with local small businesses. You can cold email, you can do referral programs, and you can also research and apply to companies that have a history of hiring interns, right? So again, I don't want to say that all of these are lesser known, but many of these 
are the ones that you can try out and you might find success in and these are different from the normal way to apply for a software engineer job which is maybe to fill out application form or to go on to LinkedIn and apply using the ease apply option so that is not exactly here and I like that approach right for me give me a step by step process to build my own tic-tac-toe game in Python right note that I have a Windows laptop and Python is not installed so again this is the second approach you want to build things but you don't exactly know the exact steps to build it but you will learn it on the way so let's just say that our goal is to build a tic-tac-toe project so I told this to him and this is what it gave me right first of all you install python you install a text editor or an ide it has a name too you might use sublime text you can use visual studio code or you can also use the idle ID that you get with python installed as well right then you can create a new python file you can call it tic-tac-toe.py you can create a game board it's telling you how to do that then you can create a game loop you can go down you can check for a win or a tie right add function for checking for wins so ye aapko pura logic samjha raha hai right but what if you want the exact code right agar aapko pura ka pura code chahiye it can even do that i'll show you just in a minute so this was the complete step by step process to build a tic tac toe game using python now i can again ask it to build a chrome extension right which i can make live on chrome web store that turns any website into a dark mode with just a click right assuming that i don't know about programming then it gave me a complete list of things i need to do to make a simple chrome extension so again this is a great way for you to build things without knowing the step by step processes of it and that is how you can use chat gpt for the same right for when i bola ki give me a step by step process for building a tinder like swiping interface using react js so it told me a bunch of things that install karo, ye use create react app and then you say npm install all of these things then create a new component add swipeable functionality add like and dislike button but again I don't know programming so I said that give me the code and explain it as well so I wrote below give me the react code needed to build a tinder like swiping interface and this is what I got as you can see right here import react and the whole code is right in front of me so this is again a great option that you have you can exactly get the code that is needed for you to actually execute something now if you are confused you can ask what are the best Udemy courses what are the best Coursera courses to take if I want to learn about a particular technology in this case I have said if I want to learn full stack web development what courses should I learn right and this is what I get a list of all of the best selling courses as you can see one of them is by Brad Traversy then we have Stephen then we have Andre we also have Dr. Angela Yu. This is the course that I particularly took and had a great experience in. I also made a separate video about it if you are interested. But ye sare courses de diye isne and I can pick any of these and I can start learning to code. So as you can see, ChatGPT can help you with pretty much anything right from picking the best Udemy course for you to learn a technology to picking your programming language to learning all the basics to applying for internships and much much more right you can ask it whatever questions you have all you need to do is to be great at asking the right questions for example if you don't understand why indexing starts at zero in a python list you can ask it right you need to be good at asking why does indexing in a python list start at zero and it will give you the exact information for why that happens right and that is a great way to learn by asking the right questions you can learn all of the theoretical as well as logical concept again it all depends upon how creative you are with what you want to ask it and it will give you the exact answer for that so tell me in the comment section how are you utilizing chat gpt what's a use case that you have found particularly useful of chat gpt in the comment section thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about the same let me know in the comment section as well if you're still watching right in the comment section i was till the very end i will continue coming up with some amazing videos on youtube around chat gpt in fact we have a complete playlist on chat gpt on my channel itself that you can go on to and you can start using it to become a better worker or to become a better person in general the ai revolution is here and the reality is ai is not going to take your job the people who know how to effectively use ai will so this is your chance to learn how to use ai effectively to become better to become more productive and to get things done faster thanks a lot for watching you can subscribe to this channel you can share this video with a friend of yours and i will see you all in the next video you can also follow me on other socials at ishan sharma 790 i'll see you in the next one Bye bye